Welcome to my Ruger 1022 project. In a previous video, I was shooting my Ruger 50th anniversary 1022 in box stock configuration. Now we're going to be doing some upgrades. We're going to add a KSA bowl barrel that is fluted. It is a match barrel, so you won't be able to use stinger rounds in this. We're going to add a Hornet Custom Black Max trigger with about two to two and a half pound trigger pull. A muzzle brake that's not really necessary but for 22. And then an Archangel stock. We'll be doing all this in real time so you can see how long it takes. So the first thing we need to do is to check the gun and make sure that it is clear. As you can see, there is no magazine. Check the chamber, nothing in the chamber. One Allen wrench will take this gun apart since the barrel band had already been removed to add a Picatinny rail. And I altered the stock so that it was free floating. Stick the safety in the middle position, lift up slightly, add a little pressure to the trigger housing, and out it comes. Trigger's held in by two pins, one at the front, one at the back. Just push those out, and your trigger drops right out. There is a bolt buffer in the rear. Push that out. Take your bolt, slide it to the back, lift it slightly, let the charging handle move forward. You can struggle with it like I am here to get the bolt out, or the easy way is just turn it upside down. There's a charging handle on the bolt. Next thing we need to do is remove the two Allen wrenches that are holding the barrel in place. And they're in there with a good amount of tension. Probably 65 inch pounds. Hard to tell because you can't fit a Black Max in next to the barrel. We'll just remove these two screws. I'm using a ball end Allen head wrench so it's easier. I don't have to three quarter turn and put it back in and three quarter turn. Makes it much easier. Take out those two screws, take out the block, a slight twist and pull on the barrel, and it will come loose. If you have trouble you can take a piece of wood and hit it from the back side to get it started. So now it's time to install a new barrel. Got a little Permatex anti-seize. I'm going to use a little bit of that around the barrel where it fits into the receiver. Don't know that it's needed. I just thought it was a good idea. You don't need much. You can see I just tapped it there and there's too much. <laughs> so Spread this around the area. And then slide it into the receiver. Stick the barrel block back in place. The two screws. And screw them down. Just going to have them be loose at this point because after getting them in place I want to check and make sure that the barrel is not twisted. So we'll look inside the receiver here and we'll make sure that it's lined up properly with the slot for the ejection and the brass extractor. Now I'm going to tighten it down just finger tight here and then we'll torque it down. Again I can't use the black Mac max wrench so knowing how tight they were when I took it off I'm applying equal pressure putting it back on or close to it. After I fire a few rounds through it get it back I will check those again to make sure that they're tight. 
that's all it is to put a barrel on the Ruger 1022 rather simple now we can put the bolt back in first thing is the charging handle and then the bolt slide it back let it come forward slightly till it clicks into place and there it is put the buffer back in place get the new trigger group make sure the extractor is in the proper location and slide the two pins back in place now this is the Archangel and it comes with some kind of a filler in the receiver void and it fits in there very tightly so I'm just going to use this Allen wrench here and pry it up a little bit get it out of there and that's just a piece of garbage throw it away now be careful when you're working with this the pins can be rather loose and they can slide from one side to the other so as you go to put it in you need to make sure that they're centered properly a little bit of downward pressure and like I said the buffer out of place a little bit center that again push it down almost there there we go make sure the safety still operates the bolt operates and then we'll just put the one retaining screw back in place but we need to take it out of the old stock so if anybody wants a 50th anniversary stock let me know I'll mail it to you I recall correctly this is about 35 inch pounds between 35 and 40 and I could use the black max here and I probably will but for the sake of this video I'm just gonna tighten it down by hand to what I think is about 35 to 40 so that's all installed next thing to do is to get it set up on the bipod and stock is rather nice it's got a cover for the Picatinny rail that's built in so if you're not using it you can have that cover on there so you have a nice smooth but grippable forend and now we'll just install the muzzle device again with a 22 caliber it's nothing more than looks and I'm going to do a little bit of testing to see how different it shoots from one side to the other again a little bit of Permatex on there just a dab spread that around and then thread this on one thing I didn't notice is that the muzzle brake was actually made out of aluminum so it doesn't quite match the barrel color since the barrel is stainless steel so there it is a Ruger 1022 from box stock to custom in about eight minutes you can see the color difference there fluted barrel it is a floated barrel with this stock the Nikon scope on top and the adjustable comb and length of pull here are the first shots through the new barrel unsorted CCI blazers that'll do it thanks for watching